Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay. So, in today's video, we are doing our very first clothing haul of 2019. Recently, I went ham and I bought a lot of clothes. Most of this is from online shopping. But yeah, we have some clothes here. We also have some accessories, things like that, that I have just acquired throughout the month. And today, I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I've bought, the prices, all that type of stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to sort this video out by brand. Whatever I got the least amount of stuff from, I'm going to show you guys first. And we're just going to kind of build up from there. So the first item I have purchased recently, which is an accessory, and I only bought one item from this brand, I mean, along with this case but I got some Ray-Ban sunglasses I have not had sunglasses in the longest time and I don't really like sunglasses I just don't I don't like how they look on me but now that I'm driving the Sun is beaming and I need some so I got Ray-Ban Club Masters these are the blaze Club Masters and they look like always getting stuck in my hair this is what they look like on they're cute I just don't like wearing sunglasses really but they'll also come in handy while I'm in Florida because it's gonna be sunny there they'll come in handy there and then they're also really good for driving and then I also bought this little case to go along with them if only I knew they already came in a case I wouldn't have bought one these sunglasses were like 170 so the first place I bought clothes from is American Eagle. I bought the smallest amount of stuff from there. So I'm going to show you guys the items I got from American Eagle next. So I bought four pairs of jeans. I only really wear one of them because I'm usually good shopping online at American Eagle. But some of these jeans just didn't look as cute in person. Or maybe just not as cute on me. I don't know. I decided to see how mom jeans looked on me. Mm -mm, not my thing plus these are literally my size like I know they're supposed to be wider and stuff But the waist just doesn't fit at all so I did purchase these mom jeans So if you guys are into mom jeans, these are listed on my Poshmark. My Poshmark is all about Azzy It's always in the description box. These are still available on there as of now So then the next pair of jeans I bought from American Eagle are these high-rise jegging blue tides But they look like this. They are a darker wash. They do have some rips cute, you know the bottoms There's nothing special. I usually like when the bottoms of my jeans are just Dressed, but these aren't they look okay on I don't know they're a little baggy and I like my jeans to be really tight I don't know just not the cutest so then the next pair I love with a passion I love these jeans so they are a pair of white skinny jeans these are also high-waisted and very stretchy I've never had white jeans until now and these are so cute it's kind of hard to tell but they do have rips and then the bottoms are distressed I wore these in LA and I love them I love how the American Eagle emblem is like brown add some contrast yeah, but these are so cute white jeans are so pretty so then the last pair of jeans I got from American Eagle So these are high-rise jegging cloudy patched indigo So the reason they're called patched indigo was because they had like the fake rips and they had like the dark blue fabric behind them But basically American Eagle makes it super easy to get rid of the patches So you basically just turn them inside out There's just like this patch of dark blue fabric and you literally just like pull it cut the strings around it and they rip right off without messing up your jeans. They're literally made for you to do that, which I didn't know until a few months ago because some of the jeans I really like on American Eagle have like the fake rips, which I know is good for school, but I don't really like the look. These used to be like that, but I cut them out. These are pretty cute on. This is what the back looks like. They have a few little rips back there. Okay, so I did buy two things from UNIF. UNIF has a lot of unique clothing on their website and then some of their stuff is just super simple that you can buy from Garage or Forever 21, but like quadruple the price. But the first item I got off of UNIF is this cropped t-shirt. says UNIF on the front. And then it has this checkerboard print on the side of the sleeves, which I think is a cool touch. When I was in LA, I wore this shirt with some white jeans. Cute outfit. I really like this shirt. It's super stretchy, super comfortable, and great quality. And then I also got this big UNIF windbreaker. It is the cutest yellow color. It's showing up a little brighter on camera, but it's actually more of a mustard yellow. The back is like half black. It has stripes on the sleeves, and then it says UNIF all around the front. This is the best rain jacket. Anytime it has rained recently, I am wearing this. It's great quality. There's a couple layers to it, so it actually keeps you warm. This is a size extra small, but this could fit so many different sizes they have more than one size but just saying for reference this is an extra small i'm 5'3 and it's huge i love this jacket so the next place that i bought clothes from is garage i really like garage i used to not shop there but recently i've just found items in there that i liked i really like to go in there for just simple pieces that are just kind of easy to match with and can go with a lot of different outfits so a lot of these clothes are just like loungewear which is what i'm doing most of the time so it's good so the first thing i have are a pair of sweatpants 
garage has just simple sweatpants for a good price that are really comfortable and good quality I only have one pair of sweatpants and I wanted another pair So I got this not quite black, but this dark gray pair of sweatpants super comfortable So the next item I bought from garage are a pair of gray leggings. They're just a medium gray color when you flip them over, they say garage. If that's important, it's not. Super stretchy, comfortable. Pretty sure these were $20. The next pair of leggings I bought from Garage are seriously my new favorite pair of leggings. They look similar to the other ones, but these are extremely high-waisted. They go past your belly button. I love them. That is such a comfortable feeling for me also. I just love high-waisted anything. And these also have a little more design to them. It's like a stripe on the side, but they just feel like they have more to them. My favorite leggings, I try not to wear these too often, but I love them. Then I got one last pair of leggings from Garage. These are also high-waisted, not as high-waisted as the gray ones I just showed you guys, but they're just black. I wanted just a pair of black leggings without a Nike check or anything on them. And leggings that were cotton because all of mine are kind of spandex material, which is cute, but it doesn't go with all outfits. So I just got a classic pair of black leggings. Not much to them. They're super comfortable. And these were about $20 also. So then I got two pairs of biker shorts from Garage. The funny thing is I only ordered one pair. I thought, but two came in the mail. They're the exact same. I got two pairs of gray biker shorts. Biker shorts are super comfortable. They're really flattering on, and this is my first time having biker shorts. I know they kind of were a trend. Then it kind of died, but I still really like them, so I did get two pairs of gray biker shorts. These biker shorts were $14.95, so not bad at all. Lastly at Garage, I bought three tank tops. These are just these cropped spaghetti strap tank tops, which I think will be super cute for the summer. And I mean, I still wear them now. I'll just wear a jacket over them, but I did get three just for variety. So I did get just a plain white cropped tank top. These are super stretchy, comfortable, easy outfit, like a tank top like this, some leggings, little jacket, something like that. That's how I've worn them recently. These tank tops were about $13 each. So then I also got a burnt orange tank top. And lastly, I got a olive green tank top. I feel like this video is going by really fast. I don't know. I've been recording for 20 minutes. I don't know. This is going by really fast. But the last place I bought clothes from and that I bought the most from is Brandy Melville. Yeah, this is a combination of online. And then when I took my trip to LA, they had a Brandy Melville and I had never been to an actual store. So so I wanted to get some stuff from there too. Brandy Melville has a lot of really cute dainty jewelry. So I got a lot of necklaces from there and I never wear necklaces like that, but they had some cute ones and I've been starting to wear more jewelry. I was trying to put a necklace on for this video, but. So first I'm gonna show you guys the necklaces I've already took out of the package. So the first one we have is this gold choker necklace it just has this little circle on it which i think is really cute and you can wear it looser so it's just a regular necklace or you can make it tighter to be an actual choker but when it's an actual choker it's an actual choker so i usually like to wear it a little bigger yeah this is on a slightly looser setting setting okay what is this an iphone but yeah it's really cute the next necklace i got from brandy this is definitely one of my favorites it's also gold but this one is a lightning bolt i've been wearing this one a lot recently also but i took it off for the video so i can kind of show you guys up close but i really like this necklace by the way their necklaces range from like six to eight dollars not pricey at all and they're really cute not the best quality i don't recommend like showering with them on or anything because you're just gonna wear them out faster but they're really cute so this next necklace i got from brandy it's a silver chain but it's a little mix i usually don't like to mix but this necklace is too cute it just has these two little gold circles on it and then it literally has like a miniature diamond ring on it if you can kind of see that so cute i love it so then this next necklace I actually got excited when I was setting everything out for this haul because I forgot I got this one It's two necklaces. This one was nine dollars I'm guessing because there's an extra necklace It has this one smaller necklace That's kind of like a choker with these little beads spaced around it Then the last necklace I bought from Brandy is also really cute It's just a gold chain and it has this snake with gemstones on it. I love it. This is so cute. Then the last two pieces of jewelry I bought from Brandy are these two rings, which I have not opened yet. I got two rings. These were each $4, which is great. It's like a bowl. And these are like gold, but mattified. If that makes sense. I don't know. It's just such a cool look. And then this other ring is a literal snake. It just looks like a snake that's wrapping around your finger. Coolest thing ever. Okay, so now for the actual clothes I bought off of Brandy. I don't even know where to start. Uh, I, I'll just start from the top of the pile. So the first item is this shirt. A little more girly than what I would usually wear. It's deeper cut and then it has the little ruffles. This is so pretty. I'm really excited to wear this. I tried it on and... 
I really like it. This shirt was $18. So then, let me find it. I got the same shirt in a different color. Yeah, right here. It's literally the same shirt in navy blue. I think yeah this is navy blue then i got two tube tops off of brandy brandy has really cute tube tops the first one i got is also something i would not usually wear it is this just bright pink tube top i really bought this for the color i just thought this was a really pretty pink thought this would look nice for the summer or maybe even in florida if the weather's really nice we'll see good quality really comfortable and stretchy and this was 16 dollars. the other tube top i bought mm, i love this i think cheetah print is super cute as you can tell by my phone case this is just so i love this and I feel like this would look nice with my hair, but it's just so girly and cute. Some of these items, I don't I don't know what I was thinking when I bought them because they're things I would never wear, but I will wear them. They're just so different for me. So I got this white ribbed t-shirt and it's button up. When do you ever see me wearing something like this? I never wear stuff like this. I just thought this was really pretty. This was $18. And then I got the same top. I can just see me wearing this one more in black. I just feel like this with like some blue high-waisted jeans would be really cute. I just wanted items that were good for different occasions because before I went shopping, I pretty much just had hoodies and crewnecks and I didn't have any like dress up clothes. These aren't even dress up, but for me it is. So, you know, I got something different. So I got these two shirts. So then I got this t-shirt that says Malibu on it. Just gray with the navy blue lettering. They have a lot of shirts in this same design. And this shirt was $20. So this next shirt you guys might have seen me wear in my buying my car vlog. I wore this shirt. Honestly, not even fully informed on what the front even means. But it's really cute. It has this red trim on the top, which I think adds a lot to the shirt. It's cropped comfortable then i got this tank top i really got this for the colors i just thought it was a really cute color combination i actually have a shirt similar to this from brandy you guys might have seen me wear that in the summer this is similar i think it's a little longer and a little thicker material this looks so similar to my other one now that i look at it let me get my other one no wonder i liked it they're like the same thing this is one i already had this is the new one okay you can see a difference up close this one kind of has more brown in it this one's a little more vibrant but they are super similar and this tank top was twenty dollars Okay. I bought another bodysuit from Brandy. This one was in the prettiest color. It's this ribbed plum colored bodysuit and then it's just like a one piece. There's no buttons or anything. This will look cute with some high waisted jeans and this was $24. Then I got this black v-neck shirt which I thought was super pretty and girly. It's just like a regular cotton shirt but then it has this lace at the bottom. The lace at the bottom really made this shirt. This was $18. The last shirt I bought off of Brandy or tank top it is this like forest green v-neck tank top with the lace at the top this shirt is super flattering on i love how this looks on and then i like how the bottom is cut it doesn't look totally finished but i kind of like that this tank top was 16 dollars. so then i bought two crew necks from brandy they're simple but i really like them so this first one i got I got this while I was in LA. It's this navy blue crew neck that says Malibu on the front. These are super soft on the inside. The hole for your head on this crew neck is so tight. Like I really struggle to get this on and off my head. Anyone would struggle putting their head through this. I don't know about that. This is a super thick crew neck. It's really good quality. And I got this for $40. So then the other crew neck I got is, you guys probably have seen this before. This color, it's kind of like baby blue mixed with some like lilac. I don't know, on camera. it just kind of looks like a light purple it's this crew neck that says newport on it also super soft and comfortable on the inside this one has a bigger head hole it's a comfortable crew neck i recommend this one was 38 dollars. this one definitely is thicker for whatever reason so i guess that's why it's a little pricier then at brandy well i actually ordered these i got three jackets i wanted some jackets that weren't windbreakers because all my other jackets are windbreakers which don't look good with every outfit i wanted something that was i guess a little less sporty looking so the first jacket i got they're all the same in different colors basically but this one this is like it's just a really light blue jacket i guess it's a cropped jacket it's just shorter they don't go past your butt I never wear straight up jackets that fully zip other than windbreakers so this is different for me but i really like these this was 28 dollars. then i got this white one which i have worn in a previous video this one is a different material it's a little thicker really comfortable they actually keep you warm i'm gonna say this one was 30 i know one was a little pricier it was probably this one because it feels a little more durable than the other jacket i just showed you guys and then lastly i got the same jacket in a beautiful red color i mean i've yet to wear half of this stuff yet because i was kind of saving it for the video but i'm 
excited to wear this. I love the color red. Okay, so the last thing I bought from Brandy is this belt. I don't really use belts for their actual purpose. I just think they add a lot to your outfit. So I did get this belt. I really like it. And I think this was like $8. I also went to Topshop and I got some jewelry. I looked through the clothes and I just didn't really see anything that I liked or that wasn't extremely overpriced for what it was. But I did get some jewelry. You guys know I change up the studs in my ears quite often. And the ones I'm wearing in there right now are from Topshop. They came from this pack right here. I actually found these in line to get to the cash register. They have a lot of jewelry there. That's where I found these. There's all different sorts of studs on here. And I actually want to change them again now that I look at them. This pack was $30. A little pricier, but they are actual good quality. And they're going to last you a while. So then lastly from Topshop, I got this pair of hoop earrings. You guys know I love my hoops. And I really liked these because they were super thin and dainty. I don't really like thick hoops. So when I saw these, I had to get them. These were $14. And they are rose gold, which is my favorite type of jewelry to wear. Then I think this is the last item. So the last thing I bought are a pair of Hirachis. I love Hirachis. They're super comfortable. They're really cute. Yeah, these are just some black Hirachis. Super comfortable. I have one pair of Hirachis and I really like them. So I decided to get another pair that could match with more outfits because the other ones I have are like gray and teal. So I got some black ones. Okay, guys. So we have come to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a lot of clothes, but it'll last me a long time. If you guys have gotten all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to do so. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.